Hi guys, so uh, I just purchased the uh, Airsoft Pro 90 degree trigger. This is the Airsoft Pro 5, I think it's called, 90 degree trigger. And their uh, Airsoft Pro 90 degree piston for the uh, VSR platform. Uh, I literally just received it um, and I thought that I would just do a quick sort of unboxing and look video. Uh, I had a quick look on YouTube and I could see that there wasn't many videos on the, this trigger or when I, at least when I typed in Airsoft Pro uh, 5 trigger uh, there wasn't really much that came up apart from their own their own videos so I thought okay I'll do my own um, I'm going to be putting it in my rifle today and I'll be able to get sort of some kind of basic review at least or at least a quick look um, I won't be playing any games for another sort of week and a half, um, so I'll get a proper, proper test of it then. So, in the box, it's it's packaged quite nicely. Um, it's got some nice firm foam to keep everything everything safe. Uh, this little bag that I pulled out just now, if the camera focuses, there's another safety lever, which is actually kind of useful. Um, a couple of screws for actually mounting the. Uh, Mounting the trigger unit to the base of the uh, to the base of the rifle, I think um, that's useful because I actually broke my um, broke my safety. I think that's something that happens a lot on VSRs. Um, it was I pulled my bolt back and it slammed back forward and it just snapped my safety. So um, I had to just remove it uh, all in all to get to get it uh, get it out of the way because there's no point in having it. So. Pull, uh, pull this out. So it actually looks um, really nice quality. The title there, Airsoft Pro 5, looks quite nice. VSR Trigger Gen 5. Just a quick look at the back. It's got a really nice finish on it as well. Let's see if you can get a look at the trigger. There isn't any sort of knurling or anything or on the trigger, but it does have this sort of edged side to it. So I mean, yeah, it feels nice. It's got a, quite a steep curl to it as well. Uh, the new trigger. But um, the first, the first looks. I mean, it looks nice. It feels of good quality. It feels quite sturdy. Um, I'm not a professional in trigger boxes, but um, but no, it looks it looks good. It looks good. It certainly looks nicer than the standard um, boxes that you pull out of your your sniper rifles anyway. So um, it does have trigger adjustment. You can see here. There's some little uh, indicators there, and I think there's a screw. That's accessible. So I think I'm pretty sure it said it's accessible while uh, the trigger is in the rifle. I think I think it I think it must be in here. I'll have to check the instructions. But uh, if we can get it to focus again, so you can see there's a hole there at the top of the trigger. I think that is the trigger adjustment, so you can um, adjust how much pull you've got. So yeah, I'm gonna take apart my rifle, put this in and see how it goes. The, uh, the reason I actually bought this trigger is because currently my VSR has a 45 degree trigger um, Action Army Sears and uh, it's, it's, I think the issue I'm having is being caused by the 45 degree um, Sears. Uh, I'm having a stiff bolt sometimes um, it's all lubed properly and everything like that I'm getting a bit of grinding ever since I put aftermarket sears into there um, with my new cylinder it's like a te it's a action army teflon cylinder it's it just doesn't fit quite right um, and it's it's definitely the sears so I've bought this 90 degree trigger unit uh, 90 degree piston to um, to see if it fix it I say it's definitely the sears well we'll find out once I put all this in but again another nice lightweight piece it's got a dampening pad on the on the front 
super lightweight. Yeah, feels feels nice. So I'm gonna go ahead and put these in. So I just finished fitting the uh, the new piston and the 90 degree trigger unit, and um, from being someone that's used 45 degree trigger, uh, a 45 degree trigger unit, basically the whole time I've been sniping, what a difference a 90 degree trigger unit makes. It's so much smoother. Um, it's got a really nice trigger pull. Uh, it's very very smooth the bolt pull when I pulled out my cylinder uh, This is actually a Action Army Teflon cylinder that I've got It's something to do with the way the sears were sitting and um, it was it was I think 45 degree triggers do this anyway They push up the rear of the piston up against the roof of the cylinder and um, it's just sort of part of how they sit and work um, but I could see the marks from where it's been scraping the top of the cylinder and it was it was grinding a lot the trigger unit would actually jam a lot when I was shooting I'd be going try and take a shot and then I'd pull the trigger and nothing would happen and I'd have to like slap the rifle to get the trigger to release and stuff and it was it was just an absolute nightmare uh, the last thing you want to be happening when you're um, uh, when you're trying to take a shot but I've just I've just finished putting everything in I've taken a few test shots and stuff like that uh, I have noticed that my air seal isn't as good as it was before, so that might just be something that I haven't put back properly with like Teflon tape or something. I'll investigate that. But uh, but yeah, um, so it's it's got an Action Army Teflon cylinder. It now has the Airsoft Pro 5 90 degree trigger unit. It's got the Airsoft Pro um, 90 degree piston. It's got a nine ball bucking and I think it's a Prometheus barrel or a P PDI barrel or an edgy barrel a 6.1 um, type bore I can't remember exactly what brand it is um, I'm probably gonna swap out for a maple leaf barrel at some point point. Um, and I've also just painted uh, the rifle uh, last night as well there we go you can see there's some leaf action happening on there I'm quite happy with it, it's the first time I've ever painted a rifle, so I think it actually looks alright. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's basically my build so far. Tokyo Marui VSR, um, basically just ended up pretty much stripping it all out and replacing all the parts. Uh, I am going to get an Action Army hop-up unit because it's the stock VSR unit I'm using right now with the Airsoft Pro hop arm it's the airsoft yeah, but i'm going to swap to maple leaf at some point but um if you're an airsoft sniper you know that airsoft snipers cost cost money so piece by piece um i'll do a couple little shots with the uh with the bolt pool and stuff so you can see how smooth it is So um, yeah, uh, it was just a really quick kind of um, review almost. Uh, I will be fielding the gun again uh, soon, uh, not this weekend, this is Thursday, um, it will be next weekend so I'm looking forward to that. Um, I've got a lot of new bits to try out, uh, but what a, what a difference that 90 degree trigger has made. So um, I'm not like a pro airsoft sniper or anything like that. But if you're sort of in the, in the same shoes that I was in, you've got a, a VSR or whatever it is, like an L96 or whatever, um, just I wouldn't bother with the 45 degree trigger because by the time you've, you've bought like an Action Army sear set, um, you know, it could be like, probably I think it was it's like around 50, 60 pounds, something like that. Um, and it's just nowhere near as good as the 90 degree trigger is. Um, you might as well just keep the money that you would have spent on the, the, the 45 degree trigger and just put it towards a 90 degree trigger. Uh, this trigger and the piston set me back 
I believe it was just a, it was about a hundred pounds, hundred and ten pounds. I'll put it in the description anyway, so um, you guys can see how much it cost. But it is so so worth it. I would recommend it hundred percent. I was having endless problems with with uh, the trigger jamming, um, a horrible a horrible bolt pull, um, and and this is this has resolved the problem. Um, so big time. So it's it's a, it's a great. A great uh, piece I'd recommend putting in. So, again, yeah, the Airsoft Pro, um, it's the it's the five um, version five, I think it's called uh, trigger, and the Airsoft Pro ninety degree uh, piston. They work with the Action Army Teflon cylinder, if that's something you're interested in, because that's that's what I've got, and it works fine with that. Um, I am having a little air air seal problem, so I'm gonna have to double check that out um maybe just need to re teflon tape the cylinder head or something could be could be from there sounds like it's coming from there somewhere so i'll figure that out but yeah thanks very much for, uh, guys for watching hopefully that was sort of informative for you and it's just a, a little look at the airsoft pro um 90 degree trigger kit so thanks again and uh hopefully see you next time